We are now coming into our seventh bout of the evening. This School of Hard Knocks fight is an amateur bout and is a catch weight of 175 pounds and is brought to you by the Estevan Bruins Hockey Club. And now, let's meet the fighters. He's fighting out of Sandy Lake, Saskatchewan. Please welcome Evander Massescapo. Evander Massescapo makes his way to the cage. Two and one and one. Weighed in at 175 pounds. Weighed just 20 years old. Weighs a five foot nine. Does Evander Massescapo. Yeah, you know, he's uh, kind of got the nickname, the real deal. Something funny about uh, uh, him, uh, Evander Massescapo, named after Evander the real deal Holyfield. Turns out uh, Evander won a belt on the day that Evander was uh, born. Uh, his father decided that that was a good name uh, to give him. Of course, that being Holyfield winning the belt on the day Massescapo was born uh, with uh, just uh, Evander's name in the previous to eliminate any confusion. Uh, Evander Massescapo, uh, just 20 years old, again born on the same day that Evander Holyfield won the heavyweight title, says that uh, like Evander Holyfield, not at all concerned with standing and throwing punches. No, he has actually a boxing uh, background prior to MMA, uh, like Evander Holyfield, I should say this time. How can you not like that name, Massescapo? It just rolls off your tongue. Um, but yeah, he's a pro boxer uh, prior to MMA, and uh, he's going to use that experience. Today. And his opponent. He's fighting out of Estevan, Saskatchewan. Please welcome Kurt Bailey. Another Estevan fighter making his way to the cage, getting the hometown cheer. Kurt Bailey eager to get to the cage, leaving all of his coaches and helpers behind as he ran down to cage side. The Cree assassin fighting out of Blood Incorporated eight and six weighed in at 175 pounds the five foot nine 32 year old stepping into the cage to set to face a vendor mass escape room. yeah you look at fighters coming down and kurt bailey is one of those he's really charismatic and uh, i'm sure we'll see that uh if he ends up winning this and getting that uh, interview but he started mma on a bet from a friend you know everybody starts differently and uh kurt bailey is no exception and now for the formal fighter introductions. In the power dodge blue corner, he's two one and one as an amateur. He's 20 years old, stands five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in at 175 and one half pounds. Please welcome hard knocks fighter, Evander the Real Deal Massescapo. And in the Boston Pizza Red Corner, he's eight and six as an amateur. He's 32 years old, stands five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in at 175 pounds, fighting out of Blood Inc. Fight Club in Estevan. Please welcome Hard Knocks fighter, Kurt the Cree Assassin Bailey. This belt will be contested under amateur rules. The referee in charge of the Hard Knocks action is Mr. Elvis Lyons. Fighters, gentlemen, I want a good, clean, hard fight. Give it everything you got. If you're going to touch gloves, touch them up now. Back to your corners. 
Kurt Bailey and Evander Massescapo exchanging words in the center of the cage. White trunks out of the red corner is Bailey Massescapo in the black trunks out of the blue corner, and they meet at the center of the cage, set for our seventh fight of the evening. Yeah, you can really tell with both of these fighters here, if you look at their stances, these are guys who uh, are quite comfortable striking, and a great double leg takedown there by Kurt Bailey. Into side control, fighting back now to half guard is Massescapo, and uh, again, a nice takedown slam there from Kurt Bailey as he looks to improve his position and get back into the side control where he was when they landed. Yeah, Kurt Bailey has a huge experience advantage here. 14 fights under his belt to the four by Massescapo. Um, and he's looking to use that advantage. If you look at Massescapo here though, he's really setting up for a nice uh, sweep. So uh, we might see that coming up in the next little bit. Massescapo has an arm in on Bailey, but it's not anywhere near deep as these two fighters are up against the side of the cage. Bailey in the white trunks, Massescapo in the black trunks. Bailey currently trapped in Massescapo's guard with not much to do, but land punches to the midsection. Yeah, with Massescapo holding on to the head here, he's doing two things. First thing, and now the head is released, but he's doing two things. The first thing, is he's cutting off a little bit of oxygen to Kurt Bailey, which does have an effect on a fighter later on because you got to keep those muscles uh, full of oxygen to make them effective. The other thing he's doing in the negative thing is he's tiring out his arms because that hurt that hurts your arms to hold on to that position. You build up that lactic acid, so that might have an effect later on as well. Bailey and Massescapo continuing to work. Bailey trying to posture up, has broken that head hold that uh, Massescapo started with. Now Bailey trying to isolate an arm, gives up on that and goes back into the guard. Neither fighter able to really advance their position, although good defense on the ground for Massescapo. Now Bailey landing a couple of punches. Yeah, Bailey's game plan was to take this to the ground, and he has watched a couple of Massescapo's fights, uh, and so uh, so far his game plan is coming into play. Um, he has to watch using the point of his elbow there. There's a possibility for an escape, but Bailey showing some experience, making sure position is most important. Yeah, like we mentioned earlier, no knees or elbows to the head of an opponent, period, regardless of position. And uh, as a result, uh, like you mentioned, has to be careful with that elbow. We did see earlier tonight one fighter end up losing a point because of an illegal blow. Yeah, he's still staying on top. Uh, Kurt's not, uh, not pushing too hard here, so it doesn't look like he's trying to finish, although he's got a nice little Americana here that he's trying to work, but I don't think it's uh, anything serious. I think it's just to let his opponent have a little bit of a thought. At the moment, though, staying busy, and that's always important when you're looking at the judges' scorecards. Just 10 seconds remaining here in round number one. Yeah, and uh, this round looks like it's gonna go to Kurt Bailey. He's on top of almost the entire round, so uh, Massescape is gonna have to come back and win that second round if uh, he wants to uh, compete in this fight. So a solid round number one for Kurt Bailey as the eight and six fighter looked like he was taking the majority of uh, the work in round number one. Like you mentioned, coming up with a quick double leg and staying on top for the rest of the round. Yeah, it was a great double. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, he doesn't uh, commit too much to it again because uh, Massescapo, a really smart fighter, uh, might end up catching him if he comes in that, uh, that wild again. It wasn't really set up, but uh, effective nonetheless, and uh, of course, uh, won him the round by being able to dominate the opponent on top. So just getting set here for round number two in our seventh fight of the evening here from the Spectra Center in Estevan, Saskatchewan, the School of Hard Knocks 16 with the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship. All the coaches and uh, attendants are out of the cage. Once those cage doors close, we will be ready for round number two. Both these fighters looking like they're enjoying themselves here. Some smiles on the faces. These guys just like to fight and uh, doing a great job. They still are uh, respecting the martial art there, but uh, Great leg kick uh, by Kurt Bailey there, and a uh, nice head kick now. Well, threw the head kick, but didn't come within four feet of connecting with Massescapo, who saw it coming and backed off. Bailey eating a punch during that takedown attempt. Yeah, again, coming straight forward. You have to set up, whether it's setting up with punches or setting up with a kick, there has to be a setup. Massescapo is gonna start to see that, and he's uh, gonna be able to tee off if he comes in that wildly again. 
So far, not much in the way of punches landing from Bailey on ducking under two from Mansa Scapo. Not much damage done by either fighter here in the early going around two. Yeah, uh, Mansa Scapo's being a little cautious. He's uh, depending on that takedown because he, he, you know, he needs to win this round to force some, uh, force his opponent to have some action in the third. So uh, he's going to try and keep this standing, but he's not going to do that by sacrificing his ability to defend the takedown. Stiff right hand from Bailey during that last exchange, or stiff right hand from Massascapo, sorry, during that last exchange, as uh, Bailey and Massascapo continue to trade punches, but nothing again really landing at this point. Some big swings coming from both fighters. Yeah, if you look at the look at the strikes and a nice double in again, uh, that one was set up with a fake strike. Uh, he needs to wizard out here, Massascapo, if he wants to end there. Uh, a little bit of a wrestling background ends up, up on his back here by Kurt Bailey. Uh, his mouth guard appears to be almost out here. Uh, he's going to hold on to that head, but again, that dual thing, it's going to reduce the amount of oxygen for Massascapo, but it's going to tire out Kurt Bailey's arm. He's let it go now, though. The mouthpiece is out now from Kurt Bailey, and the referee picks it up. I'm sure he'll give it back at the first opportunity. Yeah, he needs, he needs to give it back when uh, they get to a neutral position that he can put them back into. The last thing you want is fighters, you know, spitting out their mouth guards to get out of positions that they don't like. Massascapo leaning with the forearm on Bailey's neck, and you talked about cutting off oxygen. That's a good way to do so with the forearm across the neck of Bailey. Yeah, you're not going to choke a guy out. Uh, nobody in here uh, is going to do that uh, by putting an arm there. And now a nice switch there by Kurt Bailey. A nice reversal by Kurt Bailey rolling over Massascapo, and we'll see what he can do from the top now as he continues to work. Got an arm around the back side of the neck of Massascapo. Yeah, this is a classic wrestling hold to, designed to dominate and keep the opponent on his back. Obviously uh, not as important, but uh, keeping an opponent down does show a bit of cage dominance, so that's uh, good for the judges. Both fighters end the round like they did the last one with Kurt Bailey on top. Massascapo on his back, but a better round there for Massascapo. Probably landed the better punches, although did not secure the takedown. Managed to get the reversal down low, but Kurt Bailey ending the round on top. Yeah, it's uh, that's going to be a tough round to call because Massascapo did get the better of the striking while they were standing. Uh, but again, the uh, two dominant positions by Kurt Bailey. Uh, it's going to be a tough round to call. Again, really tough rounds. I know both fighters are looking to end this fight before the end because the last thing you want is for it to go to the judges' scorecards. And so for the first time tonight, we will get to see a third round as both these fighters get into the third and final round here in the seventh fight of the night. Three more fights to go, including two heavyweight matchups and our 145 pound amateur title fight. And that one is coming up next. Fighters are ready, third and final round here between Evander Massascapo in the black trunks, Kurt Bailey in the white trunks, as they meet at the center of the cage and continue pawing away at each other. Both fighters landing a punch there. Yeah, the one thing about amateurs, these rounds are only three minutes long. Um, so, you know, you really have to start imposing what your, your game plan is. And another shot there by Bailey. And like I said, he's got to set those up or Massascapo's going to catch him just like he has right now. A nice sprawl there from Massascapo as uh, Bailey gives up the takedown attempt. He mass escaped from that one. Well, I knew it was only a matter of time. A knee landing to Bailey's midsection from Massascapo. And now he does take that dominant position, and that one's well earned by a good sprawl, good head control, where the head goes, the body goes. Um, hopefully Massascapo can uh, really dominate this round, as for some reason the last round always kind of seems to count more than the other two. Needs to get moving though with both rounds, or the second round being so close. Cannot be sure at this point whether or not he won that round. And I'm sure the uh, coach has told him that he needs to finish here in the third round to ensure himself a victory. Yeah, you'll start to see the coaches from Massascapo start to get uh, a little more animated as they try and force their fighter to uh, to push on. Um, 
you know, they're not going to know. They're pretty sure that he lost the first round. Uh, it's kind of really close in the second round, and uh, if he ends up winning here, you're basically basing your fight on a pretty close second round. Both fighters continue to work. Mass Escapo now in Bailey's full guard, and again, laying that forearm across Bailey's neck. Again, you won't choke him out from that position, but it's certainly not a comfortable place to be, and it does cut off some of the oxygen for Bailey as he's trying to work from the bottom. Yeah, the, pr the problem is, is that's a great idea in the first round when you're trying to get his system going, and the referee's gonna stop it here, get him standing. Neither fighter advancing position from the bottom, so the referee does reset them standing up, and that might be good news for Kurt Bailey. Yeah, Master Escape was on the top, but again, it didn't look like he was going to be able to finish this fight from the top. So, you know, with Kurt Bailey in the lead right now, he might have wanted to stay that one down. But uh, Master Escape at this point uh, uh, really needs to push the action if he wants a chance to win this fight. Uh, according to us, the judges could see it completely differently. Big leg kick, heavy leg kick there from Bailey. Mass Escapo taking it and just keep coming forward. Bailey has shown more of the ring aggression to this point. Mass Escapo backing off, preferring to counter punch. Just 10 seconds remaining in round number three, and we'll see if these fighters try and close it out with a flurry. Jaw, Kurt Bailey takes him down, his opponent down and ends again with his opponent in a submission. And that is the end of the third round. We will go to a decision. It's gonna take some math on the judges' scorecards to see how they do. And we'll see who comes out with the win here in our seventh fight of the night. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this is, uh, if this is a split decision. Just because that second round is so close, the uh, judges are split all around the cage. So what one judge sees, maybe another judge doesn't. So, uh, you know, our first fight to decision, uh, I think uh, no matter what the result, both fighters are, uh, one of the fighters is gonna be upset about it, uh, as always happens when it comes to a decision. Both fighters now getting pictures taken by the official photographer of Hard Knock 16, Hyper Sports Photography, as uh, of course all those pictures available on the Hard Knocks website as well as on the Piper Sports website. You can check them out online as well. Just waiting for the official decision. Again, some math needing to be done, deciding who won what round from what fighter. Just a visit from Ari Tobe, the CEO of uh, Hard Knocks. We had had the honor of having that belt uh, right in front of us, and uh, that fight is next. Kurt Bailey throwing his hand up in the air. Uh, of course, he is from Estevan, so he's got some hometown support. Uh, colorful character is Kurt Bailey. Uh, I think I saw him kiss both of his coaches uh, while he was waiting, so uh, we'll, we'll see. We're going to go to a decision here. We Pretty have good. the official decision brought to you by Estevan Bruins Hockey Club. The winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Kurt Bailey! So a unanimous decision win for Kurt Bailey. Both of those fighters put on one heck of a show in our first fight to go the distance tonight. Kurt, you told me at the weigh-in that you were a submission fighter. Was the game plan to go to the ground tonight? I wanted to try to test my stand up a little bit. And then uh, I didn't work too well, so I took him to the ground. And you know, I got the win, and I'm just happy. And everybody came out to see me fight, and it's a great crowd. Now, Kurt, tell me, what do you think the most important part of training is for getting into the cage for MMA? Ah. <laughs> uh, I hate to say it, but just don't go out and get drunk the night before. Other than the fans, who do we have to thank for the success here tonight? I have to thank uh, uh, everybody who wanted to come out and see me. Without that, I probably would have tapped on a while ago. I, I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Let's hear it again for your winner, Kurt Bailey! So 
Kurt Bailey, the first successful Estevan fighter on the card tonight, gets the win in front of the hometown Now, crowd. ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our 50-50 draw. Get